this is Zach Brown. I'm a support tech at Go Engineer. Today I just got a quick tip I'm going to show you on how to export a multi-body solid out to an assembly. I have this base frame here. It's actually a part of a larger assembly. I have a configuration that shows the rest of it. It's a measuring oil station. But I've just got this base frame that I want to make it into an assembly. When I do that, each body is going to be exported into its own individual part file. Okay, so you'll notice I have 47 bodies here. So we're going to go to the insert menu. It's under features. And we're going to click save bodies. And in the property manager, you have uh, resulting parts. This section here that just shows you that there are 47 bodies that are going to be converted into part files. So now what we're going to do is Come over here to where it says create assembly just click this browse button and you'll see that it's going to save it as an assembly so we're going to give this a name and i'm just going to type in base frame here hit save by default um, we have this derived resulting parts from similar bodies or cut list checked and what that does is it just goes out there and looks at all the bodies and if it sees anything similar like the same body uh, that has the same size basically the same part it's going to condense this list here you'll see that we have 36 bodies now and it's just going to save those bodies that are duplicates as one part file so without that option checked let's say you have a body that's duplicated maybe five times in your um, multi-body part file it's going to save those out as five separate individual part files. Now here in this resulting parts list, we could double click each one of these and name the body, or you could come out to the graphics area where the callout is and double click that, name your body there as well. You could click the next button and it's just going to take you to the next 10 callouts where you could change the names. But for time's sake, we're just going to go ahead and click auto assign names. And that's just going to give each body a name like body one, body two, body three, and so forth. I'm gonna come over here and uncheck consume cut bodies. And this next setting is called propagate visual properties. And let's say you have bodies that have some kind of appearance on it and you want to bring that over into the part file that it makes, you can leave that checked. I don't have any appearances on any of my bodies, so I'm gonna leave it unchecked. And I believe that's it. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. And this is going to take a second. Now you can see that flashing. It's just going out there and taking those bodies and saving them out to part files. So when we're done, it's just going to show you the same multi-body file that we had to begin with. And we're just going to scroll down here to the bottom. And what it did was place a Save Bodies feature here at the bottom. So what this does is it links it back to the main multi-body part file. So anything you do to these bodies will propagate to the assembly that we just made. So it has to be before this feature. If you do anything after the feature to the bodies, that does not propagate to the assembly. So if you're working on a multi-body part file, you probably want to make sure you're done with your design work before you convert to assembly. But in this case, like many others, this may be an IGES file or a STEP file that was converted over from another CAD package. And, you know, they don't always convert over what you want them to be. Sometimes they're assemblies, sometimes they're surfaces. In this case, it was a multi-body solid. And if that is the case and you want to save it out as an assembly, this is what you do. So I'm just going to go ahead and close it down. I'm going to click yes to save the multi-body part file. And this is going to close the multi-body part file down. And what's going to be left over is the assembly that we created. So it might take a second. There it is. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out here so we can see it. And look over here at the tree. And you'll see, that, hey, we got our assembly. And look at all our parts. Each one of those are individual parts that were individual bodies. I'm going to open one of them. And if you don't see it, don't freak out. My part's still there. I'm just going to zoom to fit. I'm going to double click my middle mouse button so we can see it. There it is. And the reason why this happens is because it positions the part relative to where the origin was on the original multi-body part file. So we're just going to close this down. 
here is your assembly. There's all your individual part files. So there you go. That is how you convert a multi-body solid into an assembly. Thank you very much for watching this quick tip from Go Engineer. Mm -hmm.